Now don't be intimidated by these, they really are so easy. So first I'm gonna add a lot of salt on top of my ribs and then a little bit of pepper. Next you're gonna grab some apple juice and pour about a cup to a cup and a half into your pot. Now this is your liquid so you'll be able to get the pressure. Now my Instant Pot is a six quart and the ribs I'm using are beef ribs so they're actually a lot bigger. But if you're using pork ribs, you can put them in your Instant Pot just like this in any size of Instant Pot. But because my ribs are so big, they don't fit that way so I'm gonna show you how I put them in. So first you're just gonna cut them right down the middle. Try not to cut the bone and try and make the meat as even on both sides, if you can. As soon as you're done cutting them, you're gonna put them inside the Instant Pot, one on top of the other. Then put on your lid, make sure you seal it tight, and always, always make sure it's on sealing so it'll work. Then you're gonna press your meat stew button and go all the way down to 25. Now I let this recipe do a slow release, meaning I let it release on its own. So now I'm just gonna check, yep, there's no pressure, so I'm gonna open it up. And the smell of these things are amazing. So I'm gonna take some tongs, pull them out, and put them on a lined cookie sheet. I lined it with foil, so my cleanup is going to be a breeze. Before your Instant Pot is done cooking, go ahead and preheat your oven to broil, so it'll be about 550 degrees or broil. Now before we broil these, we're gonna spread some barbecue sauce on them so they'll be caramelized, I guess, in barbecue sauce. <laughs> so I just did a few squirts of barbecue sauce. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce you like, and then I just spread it around so it will be pretty even on each rib. Then when you're done, stick them in the broiler for about ooh, two to four minutes. You need to watch it so it doesn't burn your ribs. Now instead of just dumping this applesauce, I'm gonna put some potatoes in it because I'm gonna have mashed potatoes with my ribs. This is totally optional, but I'm all about easy side dishes. When you have your potatoes in, you're just gonna turn it, make sure it's sealed, then you'll push manual. You're gonna go up to 15 minutes. While those are cooking, my ribs are done and they look amazing. Now because I only put a few potatoes on, you can do a quick release and it won't splatter everywhere. So there you go. So I just took them out, I mashed them up with my potato masher, and there you go. You have ribs and a perfect side of mashed